8.45 a.m. called the WA-15. The missile was launched at 3.17 a.m. local time from a site to the north of Pyongyang, flying for 53 minutes before falling into the Sea of Japan, within Japan's exclusive economic zone. North Korea claims it can reach targets at a distance of more than 8,000 miles, putting Britain and anywhere in the continental United States well within range of Kim Jong-un. Click here for more from Julian Rial. 8 to 3 a.m. China has voiced grave concern over North Korea's missile test and called for talks to PC resolve the nuclear crisis. Foreign Ministry spokesman Zheng Shuang said Beijing's proposal for North Korea to freeze weapons tests in return for the U.S. to suspend military drills in the region was the best approach to ease tensions. Washington has rejected that approach. China hopes all sides will work on the peaceful settlement of the issue as a military option is not the solution to resolve the crisis, Zheng told a regular news briefing. China expresses grave concern and opposition to the relevant launching activity, the spokesman said. Beijing strongly urges North Korea to observe UN resolutions and stop actions that heighten tensions on the Korean peninsula, Zheng said. At the same time we also hope the relevant parties will act cautiously to work together for the peace and stability of this region. 8.07 a.m. The announcement that North Korea had successfully tested a new intercontinental ballistic missile fell, almost inevitably, to reach on he. Mrs. Ri has been reading the news on North Korean state television since 1971. In front of a backdrop of Mount Pike 2, the dormant volcano on the Chinese border that is the fount of Korean nationhood, she trembled with excitement, smiling broadly as she made the historic announcement. Residents a big video screen in Pyongyang showing newsreader Ri Chun Hee making a previous announcement credit of PGD Mrs. Ri's appearance was the latest landmark in a remarkable TV career. Believed to be 73 years old, Mrs. Ri was born to a poor family in Gangwon Province, in Central Korea, during the Japanese occupation. She studied performing arts at Pyongyang University of Theatre and Film before being selected by the party to be its mouthpiece due to her poverty and, consequently, her impeccable communist credentials. Recruited by Korea Central Television, she became chief news presenter by 1974 and survived purges and demotions of others around her at the station. Click here for more on her background. 6.17 a.m. Pyongyang residents react at the Pyongyang railway station after the news of the successful launch of the new intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM WA-15 in Pyongyang credit AFP Pyongyang residents a big screen near the Pyongyang railway station showing the news on the successful launch credit AFP Pyongyang residents react at the Pyongyang railway station credit AFP 5.20 a.m. Some analysts believe the announcement suggests this will be the last such test for a while. Kim Jong-un declared with pride that now we have finally realized the great historic cause of completing the state nuclear force, state media KCNA reported. Melissa Hannum, senior research associate at the James Martin Center for Non-Proliferation Studies, said the language suggested an endgame, so perhaps this is an out. A way to say they've achieved what they want as long as we treat them the way they want to be treated. 4. Melissa Hannum at Manum November 29, 2017 408 AM Here is video of the announcement though you may struggle to follow it if you don't understand Korean. 3 4 1 AM 3 3 7 AM North Korea says it has successfully tested a new ICBM named the WA-15 which can reach all of the US mainland. It says it was a success. 3 3 4 AM North Korea has just started its special announcement about its latest missile test featuring Ri Jun Hee, the news reader who appears only when there's big news picked out Twitter.com We have matched 9, Anna Fifield at Anna Fifield November 29, 2017 3 2 1 AM 3 7 AM with the broadcast coming up in about 20 minutes when North Korea runs down the likely announcements, two not all launches this year have warranted special news. So this is considered by DPRK to be big achievement. New second stage? All of U.S. in reach. Successful completion of working ICBM. Something like that. Martin Williams at Martin underscore Williams November 29, 2017 2 3 7 a.m. While the launch of the long-range missile has made headlines around the world, it seems North Koreans are blissy unaware. There has not yet been any official reports in North Korea about the test. At 10 a.m., state radio was reportedly leading its news with the formation of a committee for remembering former leader leader Kim Jong-il in Bangladesh. State TV had scheduled an announcement for 3 p.m. local time but that seems to have been brought forward to noon, which is 3.30 a.m. UK time. Korean Central TV looks like it will begin broadcasts at noon local time, three hours earlier than scheduled. That means the likely release of news and images at noon on TV and probably radio, KCNA in about one hour. 
pic.twitter.com am skype martin williams at martin underscore williams november 29 2017 151 am after north korea missile launch it's more important than ever to fund our govt military dems should nt hold troop funding hostage for amnesty illegal immigration i ran on stopping illegal immigration and one big they can't now threaten a shutdown to get their demands donald j Trump at Real Donald Trump November 29, 2017 As America's parties fight over a Republican tax plan, a new battle opened on another front as Democratic congressional leaders Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi skipped a White House meeting with Trump to discuss spending, immigration and other issues. Lawmakers must renew government funding before it expires on December 8 or risk a shutdown. Democrats hope to use their leverage on the budget issue to renew protections for young immigrants who entered the country illegally as children. 1.32 a.m. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said they presume North Korea fired a WA-14 long-range ballistic missile on Wednesday, the South's Yonhap News Agency reported. A military spokesman told Reuters he could not confirm the report. If confirmed, the test would be a repeat of the intercontinental ballistic missile launch in July. Here's a handy graphic depicting a WA-14. 1.09 a.m. 1.250 a.m. President Donald Trump has spoken with South Korean President Moon Jae-in to discuss the country's response to North Korea's latest missile launch. The White House says both leaders underscored the grave threat that North Korea's latest provocation poses not only to U.S. and South Korea, but to the entire world. The two presidents also reaffirmed their strong condemnation of North Korea's reckless campaign to advance its nuclear and ballistic missile programs, noting that these weapons only serve to undermine North Korea's security and deepen its diplomatic and economic isolation. 1226 AM Japanese Defense Minister Itsunori Onodera said it was judged that the missile was ICBM class given its lofted trajectory. The U.S.-based Union of Concerned Scientists said if these numbers are correct, then if flown on a standard trajectory rather than this lofted trajectory, this missile would have a range of more than 13,000 kilometers 8,100 miles. Such a missile would have more than enough range to reach Washington, D.C., and in fact, any part of the continental United States. However, it was unclear how heavy a payload the missile was carrying, and it was uncertain if it could carry a large nuclear warhead that far, the nonprofit science advocacy group added. 1.153 p.m. U.S. President Donald Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe warned North Korea is putting its own security at risk with a provocative new missile test, according to a White House account of a crisis call between the pair. The two leaders agreed that the North Korean regime's provocative actions are undermining its security and further isolating it from the international community. The leaders reaffirmed their commitment to combat the North Korean threat. 9.37 p.m. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has called for an emergency UN Security Council meeting. Mr. Abe called the test a violent act that can never be tolerated and added we will never yield to any provocative act. We will maximize our pressure. 9.23 p.m. The Defense Secretary said that the ICBM was shot higher frankly than any previous shots NK has taken. He said that North Korea's continued effort to develop weapons endangers world peace, regional peace and certainly he United States. 8.56 p.m. Discussing the provocation, Mr. Trump said it is a situation that we will handle. We will take care of it. 8.19 p.m. The Pentagon said in its initial assessment that the missile was an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM launched from St. Ni in North Korea and traveled about 1,000 kilometers before splashing down in the Sea of Japan. It added that the missile did not pose a threat to the United States, its territories or allies. The U.S. administration has previously said it will not tolerate the North's testing or deployment of an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of carrying a nuclear warhead to U.S. cities. 7.57 p.m. South Korean and U.S. authorities are working together to analyze the latest missile's trajectory, according to a statement from South Korean military chiefs. North Korea is thought to be focusing efforts on building long-range missiles with the potential of reaching the mainland continental U.S. Officials in Pyongyang said the first of the long-range missiles it tested in July could hit any part of the world, but the U.S. military called it an intermediate-range missile instead. Its last nuclear test reportedly involved a miniaturized hydrogen bomb that could be loaded onto a long-range missile. 7.48 p.m. U.S. President Donald Trump was briefed on North Korea's ballistic missile test while it was still in the air, the White House said. Mr. Trump was visiting Congress at the time of the launch, according to Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, but has since returned to the White House. He is expected to make a statement on the missile test shortly. 7.45 p.m. asked whether 
The U.S. is out of peaceful options with North Korea, Senator Lindsey Graham tells MSNBC, not yet but we're getting closer. 737 p.m. Japan's government estimates the North Korea missile flew for 50 minutes and landed in Japan's exclusive economic zone.